Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, I'm Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we're doing part two, if you will, to our uh, ratchet roundup where we went out and we bought pretty much every single, I would say, commonly used or commonly sold ratchet that you could get in the half inch range for under $30. And we put them through a test. We, uh... <laughs> Boy, did we put them through the test. There's the ratchets that we used, and we used and abused them. Uh, we took them apart completely, checked the teeth, checked the uh, the switches on them, uh, pounded on them with a, a hammer there to see how hard they were. In fact, we even cut the ends off with a bandsaw. These have been clearly used and abused. No warranty should cover this, right? Well, they all did say they came with a lifetime warranty. In fact, one of them... Home Depot actually said right on the website, no questions asked. Now, I was willing to let sleeping dogs lie there. I mean, I obviously went above and beyond here with what they're supposed to take. But you guys said, we want to see if they're really going to back up that no questions asked. In fact, we want to see how easy the return policy is with all of them. So the bear sucked it up. It was embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing, let me tell you. That's not my favorite thing to do, but I went up. You know, think about it. I had to sit there with a straight face and be like, mm, don't don't know how it happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, we went through. We're going to talk through each one of these. I did record it, but at the end, I didn't feel right. You know, I'm not the kind of bear that likes to secretly record people, at least as far as you know. And anyway, so I'll just tell you basically what happened. So the first place we stopped was at O'Reilly's. And uh, we went in there and I slapped it down. And uh, you know what, <laughs> you know, there, there's kind of a, a joke about O'Reilly's, you know, you go in, you, you order, you know, you go to, to get a windshield wipers for your car and they ask you how many cylinders your car has, you know, cause they're just reading off a script over there. They're not usually the most technical sort, but I'll, I'll say the guy was pretty nice. I did have to show him my ID since I didn't have the receipt. They did ask for a phone number, and uh, I did have to sign their little electronic thing there to uh, to get my uh, my wrench back. But I did, and they, you know, he didn't ask how it happened. He just looked at it, kind of gave it a little squint, and uh, that was about it. And I was in and out in probably under five minutes. Uh, next on the list was Pep Boys. Now, Pep Boys was a little bit interesting. At first, the guy wasn't sure if it had a lifetime warranty. But he just vocalized that. He didn't tell me that it didn't or anything. He went and he found one. And sure enough on it, it said lifetime warranty. He had some concerns as to how to ring it up exactly. But again, we got up to the cash register. He, he rang up and he said to me straight out. He, I asked, shut up, Moto. I asked him straight up, you know, are you know, is this, are you guys going to warranty it? Do I need to send it in or something? He's like, no, no, I'll take care of it. I'll make it right no matter what we have to do. And so he did. He, he did make it right. And it took, again, about five minutes. I had to give him my, my name, my phone number, and sign their little electronic pad. But in and out. Napa. Napa, by far, was the winner in the exchange process. I walked in, put it on the counter. Guy looked at it. He, he goes, huh. Went, got another one, handed it to me. It's like, there you go. You have a good day. I was like, thank you. You too. I was in and out in under two minutes. And most of that time was me kind of just looking around. I probably could have done it in about 30 seconds. By far the easiest transaction of the bunch. Next was Lowe's. Lowe's was not as easy, but we did get it done. I'll say that. Again, they asked for an ID since I didn't have receipt. They asked for a phone number. Uh, they did not ask. They, they, okay. They didn't exactly ask. They said, it broke, huh? And I said, yeah, I guess. Literally, that's what I said. And uh, then they were concerned about whether they could exchange it. Uh, they, As soon as they saw it was Craftsman, they kind of freaked out. And they were like, well, I don't know. We can only exchange certain things. They asked if it was a Sears Craftsman or a Lowe's Craftsman. I said, it's a Lowe's Craftsman. And then I asked, did it matter? And they said, well, we can only exchange some of the Sears stuff. Really, it comes down to whether we have it in stock. They did have it in stock. And probably in about 10 minutes, I was out of the store. AutoZone. As I said, this was the winner of our ratchets as far as like the best one to use, good heft, uh, good teeth and everything. Had a great feel. I like the knurled grip rather than just the recessed or, you know, pseudo embossed kind of handle thing. Uh, and they were 
I would say one of the easier ones. I walked in there. I, I handed them the ratchet. Uh, he looked at it. It was the store manager. He looked at it, said it's half inch. Say, yeah, it's half inch. He went and got another one. He put it in his little computer thing. Uh, I don't even think I had to sign the pad. I did have to give him a phone number. They didn't ask if I wanted to update my address. And I said, yes, I did. Uh, they didn't make me because I said they asked, but you know, it wasn't a requirement. But uh, I would say it was, it was pretty good. It was one of the easier ones. It definitely wasn't, you know, the kind of case where, you, you know, as easy as Napa where you just walk in and hand it to them, they give you a new one. But it was pretty easy and pretty smooth and, and certainly quick. Home Depot. Now, Home Depot was the one that actually said no questions asked. And they actually took the longest. In all, it took nearly 20 minutes to get this return. And most of it was because the uh, person doing the return couldn't find the SKU number on it. It was really odd. In fact, when I first walked in, she definitely had that look of, uh, you know, kind of glaring at me like I was taking her away from her coffee break or something and uh, and acting like, well, I don't know if I'm going to do this for you. Now I pointed out that it's got a lifetime warranty, as it says, no questions asked. And she kind of looked at it and got kind of huffy about it, but then went and talked to somebody, came back, she said, well, I sent it off to so-and-so, they're going to, I need a, 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 a SKU number for it. And so I pulled up my phone and pulled up the part number. I'm like, you mean this SKU number? And she's like, oh, well, I already sent it off with so-and-so. So when they get back, great. So I sat there for 15 more minutes until they got back. And then she had to ring the whole thing up. And she's sitting there with the actual replacement ratchet and hands me a gift card. I thought that was odd. You could have asked me if I wanted a gift card. I mean, you had the replacement ratchet right there, right? Anyway... So we got that one replaced. Next on the list was the Lowe's Cobalt. Now I took this one back and I didn't have really any problems getting this one uh, exchanged. I did it separately from the other one, of course, because that would have looked a bit weird, huh? And uh, they they didn't have a problem with it. They did ask for my, uh, my phone number and uh, they did give it kind of a curious look, but they didn't really say anything. And I asked him about what it, you know, what's the return policy going to be with Cobalt. And he said, well, right now the policy is essentially that they just do an instant replacement if they have it in stock. He's not quite sure how it's going to be handled otherwise, but he was saying that he thinks you're going to have to send it in. We'll have to see. I, apparently they're still trying to figure this all out. And of course, Harbor Freight was, you know, the one that I at least felt would be the easiest. I've returned stuff to Harbor Freight before, and it's usually been a case of I walk in, the person looks at me, says, go grab another one. I walk up, they look at it, they maybe ring it up, and I'm in and out in under five minutes. Well, I was in and out in under five minutes, and it was a case I walked in, but the first guy I looked at, he just finished ringing up a customer and then tried to pretend like he didn't hear me and then looked at me and looked at the other cashier and said, um, well, returns... Uh, warranty stuff. Yeah, you, um, you're gonna warranty. Um, you're gonna have to talk to him because, uh, yeah, I, I don't do warranty stuff. And then turned and walked away. I guess it was his coffee break or something. But you know, you you can't judge the entire you know chain by one you know lazy cashier who doesn't want to be inconvenienced. The one guy who did help me was really pleasant. He uh, did tell me to go ahead and grab a replacement one, and he held on that one, and I was. Once the transaction, you know, we got to that point, I was in and out in just a couple minutes. It was very nice and, and helpful and whatnot. But the, uh, yeah, it, it it did kind of leave a bad taste in having to deal with the first guy. But as I said, you know, I've dealt with hundreds, if not thousands of associates and the, the bad ones I can count on one paw. So. And lastly is Stanley Quick Ratchet Release. So I went into Walmart and they laughed at me. Okay, they didn't laugh, but they said, uh, no, you're going to have to uh, contact Stanley about that, and they're going to probably have you send it to them. I was like, okay, Miss Snotty Pants, but you know what? It's Walmart, and that's what you get for shopping there. Yeah, so uh, anyway, apparently you have to contact Stanley, and they, uh, they may ask you to send them a picture, but usually they just send you a replacement piece. So the Stanley one is fairly painless. And uh, I've talked to a few of you guys who have used it, and you said it was it was completely painless on your end. So if I were you, I'd just bypass the part where I try to go to Walmart and just go straight to Stanley. It'll be easier for you. So the, the takeaways here are that it seems like all of these cases, and as I said before, I don't know if it's a case of excellent customer service or mind-numbing apathy on the part of minimum wage workers, but the, either way, 
I was able to get all of these replaced for free, no no cost, and at, at best, I was in and out in a couple minutes. At worst, I think it was a 20-minute wait. And again, I've heard people say that they've had no problem exchanging stuff at Home Depot. I may have just gotten somebody in a bad mood. You know, maybe they're anti-bear. I don't know. Some people, they run around screaming when I walk in. I say it's because I'm, I'm so famous. You know, I'm YouTube famous, as the Cubs like to say. Jeff says it's something about scary bears and eating people. I don't know. You eat one cashier and all of a sudden you're a man-eating bear. I, I think that's a bit much. Kind of a stretch. Anyway, the point of the matter is, I don't see how you can really go wrong with these. Some may be better than others. Unfortunately, Napa being the best one as far as exchange was also the one I least liked using. Uh, the the Duralast, which is from AutoZone, which is my favorite one to use, was, I would say, one of the top two, top three, four exchanges. Really pleasant people there. Now, on a side note, for all you single guys, I just got to add this because it was pretty funny. So I did this all on Monday and Tuesday afternoon, uh, right around when people would be getting off of, off of work. And I noticed... Apparently, that if you're a single guy who's handy and can fix cars, you should be hanging out at the AutoZone or other similar auto parts stores because there's a lot of single women, for some reason, showing up uh, at, the, uh, at the auto parts store. I don't know. Maybe their car started having problems over the weekend and they decide to come in to ask someone there to take a look at it, you know, because they offer free diagnostics and such. And they've all got this kind of lost face on it, on them. And I, and my first thought is, you know, Where's their, you know, where's their man? Why isn't he dealing with this? And I realized, oh, they're single. That's, <laughs> you know, when you've been married for as long as I have, you don't, you don't often think about those things. But anyway, so that's that's the uh, the advice from the bear, which is you can't go wrong with basic tools. And if you're a single handy kind of guy, hang around auto parts stores, apparently on Mondays. It's the place to be. <laughs> anyway, you all take care. Hope you enjoy uh, these kind of reviews. We're going to try and do more of these kind of like hand tool comparison stuff. Uh, we're going to do some mid-level stuff and maybe eventually some upper tier stuff. We'll have to see. Anyway, until then, you all shine on.